Hey, beautiful souls. Welcome to your weekly reading for Friday, May 3rd through Friday, May 10th. I'm Joy Giovanni, Joyful Medium. I help people get clear evidence and guidance from the other side so they can move forward in their own best next steps with clarity and hope. Let's get right into this weekly reading. We have some exciting energy this week to take a look at. And remember, this is general reading, but the energies, potentials, and possibilities that you can harness in the energetic realm this week to use in your real day-to-day -day life. This first card is the lovers. Now, people often confuse this card and feel like, oh, this is just about romantic relationships. It is not. Of course, for some of you, if you're putting yourself out there open to a new love interest, this can mean making new connections, meeting new people. This card can also indicate the potential for travel opportunity coming to your, to your uh, life in your way. But this card is just reminding you about the company you keep. We want to make sure we are weeding the gardens of our lives, keeping those close to us who we feel reciprocally nourished by, meaning it's give and take both directions. It's not one sided. You're not feeling used, abused, taken advantage of. And that is how you start drawing forward more of those people into your life by being willing to step back from people who don't have your highest and greatest good at heart and really just cultivating the types of relationships that you want in your life. So focusing on the people you do love, the people who you do care about, who you do have wonderful relationships with and focusing more time, more attention, um, fertilizing those relationships even more, right? This next card is Queen of Cups energy. Now, the beautiful thing is right after this card, we've got queen of swords. And if you look, they even look like they're looking at each other. Now cups has to do with our emotions and being the most highly evolved in our emotions coming from a place of clarity, of calm, of confidence, of connectedness, of compassion. This uh, queen of swords is so evolved, but she uses her intellect, her intuition in a less emotional way, what she knows about the world, what she's experienced. And often we see one or the other of these asking us to choose from our heart or our head. But this week is so powerful that we have the opportunity, may the fourth be with you, uh, we have the opportunity to balance both of these or to dip into each of these wells within us equally. So making sure that you are kind of, think of like the scales of Libra or the scales of judgment or the scales of making choices, right? Weighing out your decisions, using equally your heart and your head, this emotional cup and all of the wisdom that you have from past experience, from the emotions you've healed and moved through, from any of those spiritual or personal development books or courses or talks but at the same time, tempering all of that wholehearted energy with your own intellect, with the wisdom that you've gained from those courses, books, talks, etc. If you listen to talks, please listen to my podcast, Spirit Speakeasy, wherever you get podcasts. But just really balancing these two energies to make a complete uh decision from the best, most balanced place. And this can also mean seeking advice or guidance from people you know who embody these characters, these, these character qualities in life. This next card is probably why we're being encouraged to weed the garden of our friendship and of our the people we love in our life and use this balanced perspective. Ace of Cups. Now, anytime we see this hand of spirit coming in from the side, it's that we are being offered a new opportunity, a whole new chapter, a whole new fork in the road, for example, a new path. Cups has to do with things that relate to our emotions, especially relationships. So while I said some of you might be having a new love interest step into your lives. Others of you might be being given an opportunity, a nudge to deepen the relationships you do have. Maybe there'll be a very special soul connection friend or someone who's intended to be on your path that you're gonna be able to start nourishing, nurturing a new relationship with. How wonderful is that? But sometimes in this energy, we can have old emotions rising up. So make sure with this Queen of Swords that you're evaluating 
Is this um, a fear that's rising for me? Is this a triggered past emotion? What have I learned in the past? What do I know? How do I want to move forward in the future? These opportunities are always positive though. And the clarifier card we have this week is the moon. The reason why this is so perfect is the moon is the divine feminine representation of our emotions, this full emotional cup, right? And look, this cup is spilling over, reminding us we can only give from what's spilling over. We can't give from a dry emotional well. Tuning into your intuition this week to help with some of these answers, choices, possibilities, to help you move towards what it is you do want to create. And just know that the moon often also indicates that you probably won't have all of the details up front about this new opportunity. Some of it will be in the shadows, in the background, coming to light a bit later. But the moon is about things coming to light, things that are hidden from us, things that we can tune into our intuition to start to understand, to process. Um, but this is a positive card as well, reminding you that you do have deep intuition. You do have the ability to sense and know what is right for you. Even if you feel like you're a little bit out of practice, you have the ability to receive guidance from your own soul, that highest version of you. I'm so excited for this new opportunity for you, whatever it is that's coming in. And remember, just around the corner, we have our spirit circle for this month. This month we're doing a free group mediumship reading. So if you've ever attended a free group mediumship reading or a paid group mediumship reading, it's essentially me using my gifts as a medium to bring through evidence, details, communication from loved ones on the other side. Several people who attend will get a reading. You can sign up, it's totally free, on my website, joyfulmedium.com, in the events section is where you will find it. And I'm so excited to do another uh, free live group reading. It's live on Zoom, everyone is welcome, anyone can attend, you just have to sign up in order to receive the link. So I hope to see you at that group reading. It is just around the corner. Make sure you go to joyfulmedium.com, the events tab and sign up so you can join me at a group reading and experience a mediumship. Even if you don't receive a reading, you'll see how one message can touch many souls. And it's really just such an amazing experience. And our community is so wonderful. We always have incredible support of beautiful souls who attend. So I hope to see you there. Big hugs, lots of love. Talk to you soon.